This project will be done over two lessons. Task 1. You're going to design a trainer. The target market for this design is teenagers. You can design your trainer for either a male or female, or for unisex. At the end of the project, you will have a sheet with a design of a trainer suitable for a teenager. Your trainer should focus on pattern and colour. Get a trainer and place it in front of you. Draw the trainer side on, not from a funny angle. You're going to draw your trainer, but just include the main shape. Do not include any patterns or logos. Try and leave enough room to sketch it from the side and also from an aerial view, so looking from up above down onto the front of the shoe, just like this. Or, if you wish, you can go into Pinterest and draw a trainer from a Pinterest board. Now I want you to look at these mood boards. Play the video and stop and pause it at any time. Look at these mood boards by fashion designers. Look how the fashion designers have designed their clothing based around things such as nature. Look at where they take the inspiration from the colour from and where they get ideas for shape and where they get ideas around colour and pattern. To help you with your design, you're going to work from one of these mood boards. Take inspiration from one of these mood boards. This should be reflected in your design when you're designing your trainer. For example, we've got a steampunk one. Do you like steampunk? Or you may prefer a mood board like this that has bright and bold colours and patterns on it. Choose from one of these many mood boards. Pause the video at the mood board that you like the best. Then with your trainer drawing in front of you, sketch ideas from your mood board into your trainer design. What patterns and shapes can you incorporate in your design from the mood board? What inspiration can you take from the colours in your mood board? See if you can guess what inspired these designs. Once you finish sketching your design out, you then need to colour it. Here are some examples of professional designs. Remember to photograph your work and upload it to your assignment.